Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you have heard about Opportunity Card in Germany or Chance Karte in Germany. And if you're wondering how does it work and how one can take advantage of this opportunity to come to Germany, then you don't have to do your research because I have done it all for you. So I have, I have gathered all the information that you require or you need to know before you apply for this opportunity in Germany. And I think you're also a bit familiar about the point system uh, in Canada, that there, if you want to immigrate to Canada, you have to uh, check how many points that you make that includes your qualification, your age, and so on. And I think there is a similar thing for Australia as well. So Germany is kind of trying to do something similar. So this opportunity card is also a point-based system, but the most easiest part or the most attractive part about this point-based system in Germany is that you don't need a lot of points. The minimum points that you need to be eligible for this opportunity is that you only need six points. Yes, you heard it right, only six points, and it's so easy to make up these points. For example, you get up to three points if you have some kind of experience in your field. You get another two points if you are under 35 years old. And if you're between 35 and 40, you get one point. But if you have a university qualification, you can earn up to six points only based on your qualification. The point is, it's, it's so easy to make up these six points. All you have to do or, or all you need to have is at least a university degree or some kind of a training. So they will see how many points you usually make up. And I, in my, um, according to my research, it's pretty much easier to make up at least six points, which means it has become so much easier for anyone who wants to come to Germany to look for employment. In the past, you had to apply for a um, job seeker visa, which you get for about six months. And you come here and then you have to look for a job. But with this opportunity card, you can come here and you can stay up to a year and then you can look for jobs. And no, you, don't, you do not need to have any job contract prior coming to Germany. You just need to come here and instead of six months, like in Job Seeker Visa, here you get one year. In this one year, you can also work part time in order to support yourself while you are working for a full time job. Let's deep dive into the requirements and the eligibility. So the first requirement is you need to make up at least six points, which means you need to have either a university degree or some kind of a vocational training. The second one is if you have any experience, up to three years of experience is required in order to gain some points from this experience. You need to not have any um, criminal record in your country, of course, and you need to also have um, sufficient finances in order to support yourself, your stay in Germany. And if you're younger than 35, that makes it a lot easier because this also gives you two points. So this opportunity is for you if you are younger than 35 years, but they're also except the ages between 35 to 40, it, it, but it only gives you one point. And um, in some cases, if you also speak German, then that also gives you additional points. But if you don't speak German, that is also okay. As long as you fulfill other requirements, and you make up at least six points, that is still okay. And then you need to apply for this via the German embassy in your home country. Now the most important question that when is this opportunity gonna be open or when is it gonna officially start? So you can officially apply from 1st June, 2024 for this opportunity via embassy in your home country. So until June, you have enough time to prepare yourself what you want to do, maybe already uh, start looking for um, job opportunities in Germany, just to understand the German market, 
or maybe if you want to work on your German language, this gives you also enough time to work on your German language until June. And as soon as, um, as soon as it's officially opens on 1st of June, 2024, you can already start applying through this opportunity. So the language requirement is you need to have either A1 of German or you need to have B2 of English. So if you speak um, even more than A1 of German, of course you get more points, but the minimum requirement would be either you have A1 um, in order to prove, I mean, you have some kind of a certificate. You need to either have A1 of German or B2, like minimum of English. So now let's understand this point system. Like how does this point system work and how can you get the minimum points, that is six, in order to be eligible for this opportunity card, right? So the total points of this uh, opportunity card system is 14 and you only need to have six point out of 14. So let's deep dive. Um, how can you make up this six points? So if you have a university qualification, if you have a university degree, only your university degree can also give you up to six points. Of course, it depends case to case, but it's highly possible that only having a university degree can give you up to six points. If it doesn't, you can still make up points by other criteria, for example, if you have experience, if you have any experience in your field of work, you can get up to three points. So as I understood, maybe if you have up to three years of experience, you can get three points. And then the most important thing is age. So if you are someone under 35, you get two points. But if you are between 35 and 40, you get one point. If you speak German language, you can get up to three points. And if you have uh, previously um, lived in Germany for at least six months, you get one point. And then if your spouse, uh, if you're married and if, you, if your spouse also uh, kind of qualifies uh, based on this point system, then you get additional one point. So like I said, it's quite easy to make up six points based on, uh, based on this criteria, as long as you have some kind of skill, some kind of a training or some kind of a degree. It already makes you eligible to apply for this opportunity card. So I would highly recommend you take this opportunity and apply for this opportunity, op opportunity card as soon as it opens. Now the question is, when is it gonna be open? So this opportunity or <clears throat> this uh, point-based system is going to be officially open from 1st June 2024, which means from 1st June 2024, you will be able to apply for this opportunity card from the German embassies or the consulates in your home country. So what are the advantages of using this uh, opportunity card or a chance card? Number one, it makes your entry or your route to Germany makes a lot easier compared to any other routes. For example, here, you don't even have to worry um, needing to have a contract in hand or going through a um, complicated uh, process like needing too many documentation. This opportunity card makes it a lot easier, especially for someone who wants to move to Germany to seek employment. This gives you a clear path and an easy path through which you can come to Germany and you can stay here up to one year and then you can look for a job. And in this one year, while you're looking for um, your opportunity or a new job, something that you would like to have um, for long run, <clears throat> in the meantime, you can also work part-time. You're also allowed to work up to 20 hours per week in order to support yourself while you're looking for the perfect job. And the second thing is if you compare it to job seeker visa, there you get it for just half a year, for six months. And sometimes the six month time is a bit less 
um, based on uh, the job market because sometimes there are too many people out there and they're very limited jobs who are looking for like the employers who are looking for a very uh, dedicated skill so sometimes it's a little bit harder to find something in those six months but with this you get to stay in Germany up to a year which makes it a lot easier and during this one year, you can uh, maybe learn German and then you can work, uh, like I said, 20 hours per week for someone. And maybe this 20 hour per week could also be um, transferred uh, being a full time job if you like the employer or if the employer likes you. So there's also a possibility that you can just extend your stay. You just have to inform the Ausländer Behörde in Germany that you have found a full-time employment and then your stay will be extended based on the kind of job you have. Either you will go on the on the normal uh, work visa or you can go on blue card. That will depend on how much you will be earning and some other criteria. But overall, this opportunity card makes it a lot easier to attract the skilled workers from all over the world, especially who is someone non-EU. So this has been specifically designed for the non-EU skilled workers who would like to move to Germany to seek employment. So I highly recommend that you apply for this as soon as it opens on 1st of June, 2024. You apply through this opportunity and if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment and I will try my best to get back to you. And as soon as we uh, get more information um, here in Germany, as soon as the government announces for more details, I will try to post another video. But until then, stay tuned and I will br bring you some more interesting information about Germany. But until then, take care of yourself and goodbye.